Oh, what are those guys doing? Uh, oh, look out! A car! Uh, oh, it stopped. Oh, almost no more. Yeah. What is road safety? Road safety is about keeping ourselves safe around the roads. Roads can be pretty dangerous out there, Mo. Oh, yeah, my nose. Mo was walking along the road, and a car came really fast, and it gave Mo a fright. Would road safety help, Mo? Well, I think it's a really good idea. Cars can go really fast and be pretty scary. Yeah. How does Mo stay safe if Mo is walking along the road? So if you're staying on the footpath, Mo, yep. keeping away from the cars, and staying on the house side of the footpath, that's oh. a great start. Right, so on the footpath, and if Mo is nearer to the houses, uh, Mo is further away from the cars. Absolutely. OK, that's a good start. So if Mo walks on the footpath, is Mo totally safe from cars then? Oh, no, Mo. We need Ooh. to be careful walking on the footpath. We need to look out for sneaky driveways. Sneaky? Why are they sneaky? So a sneaky driveway is one where a car could sneak out past us. Ooh. It could be blocked by a hedge or a fence or something. Oh, so you can't see the car. Exactly. So when we come to a sneaky driveway, we need to stop, lean, and look. OK. Uh, stop, lean, look. That's correct. Well done. I was a fast learner. Mm. Whoa, sneaky. Clear. So what kind of things do you need to look out for on the roads? You have to look out for trucks, cars, yeah. motorcycles, and bigger trucks. Do you have to look out for buses? Yes. Do you have to look out for boats? No. Do you have to look out for aeroplanes? Mm, aeroplanes are in the sky, so no. Oh, yeah, you're right. What if Mo wanted to go across the road? How would Mo do that? Well, Mo, you need to look for a safe place to cross. Right. Like a zebra crossing or pedestrian crossing. Zebra crossing? Absolutely. What is it called that? Well, it's got black and white stripes across the road, so I oh. guess it kind of looks like a zebra. Oh. Black and white stripes. Uh, is this a zebra crossing? Yes, Mo, this is our zebra oh. crossing. OK, uh, so what do we do? So before we cross the road at a zebra crossing, we have to stop, look and listen. So what kind of sound does a car make? What are you listening for? You're listening for a deep boom. Or like this. Broom! No, lower than that. Oh, a deep broom? Yeah. OK, like this one. Broom! Not that low. Not that deep. Yeah. OK, like this one. Broom! Yeah, like that. Yes, nailed it. OK, uh, Mo will stop. Mm. Stopped. Uh, where does Mo look? We have to look both ways, looking for traffic. Um, nothing that way. Nothing that way. No traffic. And uh, now we have to listen. OK, can't hear anything. Yep, so we're safe to cross now, Mo. Oh, OK, can we hold hands? Excellent. This isn't scary at all. So when you want to cross the road at the traffic lights, uh, what's the first thing you've got to do? You're going to press the button at the traffic light. OK, so you press the button and then you just walk across? No. Oh, what do you, what do, you do next? You have to wait until the red man turns into a green man and you have to look both ways and hear if there's any cars. Oh, so you still have to look and listen even if the red man has turned into a green man? Yes. Looking both ways, guys, all the way across? Well, thank you for teaching Mo all about road safety, Constable Andy. Oh, uh, you're very welcome. Mo feels much safer now. Excellent.